Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam, and today we will learn about ovarian mucinous cystadenoma on ultrasound. Ovarian cystadenomas are benign mucin containing epithelial tumors. They are usually larger in size than serous cystadenomas. They are often unilateral and mostly occur in reproductive age women, but can occur at any age. We will compare their appearance on ultrasound with normal ovaries for a better understanding. These are all transvaginal images. On the left is a normal ovary in the longitudinal plane. This homogeneous area is the ovarian stroma. And we can also see anechoic ovarian follicles, five of them in this image. On the right, we see an ovarian mass. It is a mainly anechoic mass with some internal echoes and septations. These walls inside the mass are the septa. Instead of seeing a single cystic cavity, we observe multiple cystic compartments known as locules within the same ovarian mass. These locules are numerous, vary significantly in size and shape, and can be closely packed together. Because of this arrangement, the lesion does not appear uniform. Instead, it forms a complex but organized cystic structure. Mucinous cystadenomas are composed of multiple locules, and each locule may contain mucin of different viscosity and concentration. Because ultrasound ecogenicity depends on how sound waves interact with the internal contents, these differences in mucin consistency lead to different ultrasound appearances in adjacent locules. Some locules contain more watery or less concentrated mucin, allowing ultrasound waves to pass through freely. These locules appear anechoic, meaning they look black on ultrasound, similar to simple fluid. Other locules contain thicker, more protein-rich or gelatinous mucin. This denser material causes partial reflection and scattering of ultrasound waves, resulting in low-level internal echoes, which appear gray rather than black. The septa are usually less than 3 millimeters in thickness and are often smooth and regular. The main feature that distinguishes mucinous cystadenoma from serous cystadenoma is the presence of internal echoes in the cystic mass. Let's look at another case of a mucinous cystadenoma. In this image, we can see five locules, and we can also see internal echoes within the mass. In a serous cystadenoma, we will not see internal echoes in the mass. This haziness will not be seen in a serous cystadenoma. They will appear completely anechoic. This image is also of a mucinous cystadenoma. They are mostly multilocular and will have low-level internal echoes in the mass. This mass has a partial septation. The main feature is the presence of internal echoes. This mass shows a large number of locules. These locules are closely packed together with small cystic spaces, whereas these locules are larger. You can also notice the difference in echogenicity between different locules. These two locules have somewhat medium level internal echogenicity, whereas these locules have low level internal echoes. On color Doppler, this mass will either show no vascularity or minimal vascularity. Blood flow may be seen in the cyst wall or along the septa. Here is another case of a mucinous cystadenoma. Doppler is applied here, but we do not see internal vascularity within the mass. This suggests that it is a benign mass. The other features that suggest that it is a mucinous cystadenoma is the presence of internal echoes, internal septations, 
and a smooth round shape and contour. Let's look at a few more images of mucinous cystadenoma. This cystic mass is multiloculated and has internal echoes, although some locules appear anechoic. Some locules are closely packed and separated by thin septations, so they may create a honeycomb pattern. This locule has low level internal echoes. This was a mucinous cystadenoma. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more imaging videos.